Well, good afternoon, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever it is that the Lord has you. I am Prophetess Rhea A. Doswell, founder of Sela Prophetic Ministries. I am not going to be before you long, but I had a very disturbing uh, prophetic dream last night. I want to share it with you, and I'm also going to give you the interpretation and scripture to uh, basically back up what the Lord is revealing to me. And for those of you who follow this ministry, one of the reasons why you see me utilizing the video section here when I said that the Lord had put me away is because it deals with space on the ministry's website. So not only can we not return back to make corrections when I am typing what it is that the Lord um, is speaking to me, I also cannot upload any more videos. And so just be patient. In time, we will deal with it when the Lord um, gives us, um, it says, I'm trying to look and see, it says I have a low frequency here. So I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going. Okay. So this is what the Lord, uh, showed me. Let me just pull this up. Okay. This is a prophetic dream that I had yesterday or in the wee hours of the morning. Okay. I was placed in an area. It was like a gated community, except this area was secluded by large acres of land. And this is where old wealth was a factor. Old wealth is not flamboyant, but it is hidden from the masses. I can see surveillance of several FBI agents who are dressed in their armor and they're carrying weapons which look like AR-15 military style guns. And they are observing a mansion um, for several hours in the morning. This mansion was a modern mansion. I'm talking about this mansion had to be worth, I want to say over 40, 50 million dollars. Um, as they're observing this mansion in the morning time, I'm literally just in this region, okay? And I am literally watching a surveillance play out and God is allowing me to feel that I'm there in the morning, okay? The hours go by in the dream and I can see on the side of the mansion a secret gate which was black. It looked like a metal garage door um, on the side of the house and all of a sudden the door opens and I see gray Dalmatian dogs run out. I remember seeing about three. The FBI agents begin to make their way close to the mansion. The owner gets wind of it and he summons his Dalmatian dogs to return through that same gate that opened suddenly. Then all of a sudden I'm placed inside of this bunker tunnel of the mansion. And I can see the gentleman. He looked like he was European or could have been Ashkenazi Jew. And he is crawling through the tunnel. But as he is crawling through the tunnel, I literally see chemical um, bomb, chemicals from a nuclear bomb go off. And I literally see it built up. And I just want to back frame here just a little bit because I'm there in the morning. But I literally feel, and this was really different for me in this type of prophetic dream, I literally felt like I was there for hours as it was morning and now it was becoming evening, okay? And so he's crawling through this tunnel and I literally can see as he's trying to make it through the chemicals from this nuclear bomb, it's catching up to him and there's no way that this man will survive. And then the Lord pulls me out of the dream. Okay, I'm gonna give you the interpretation. The FBI agent represents those in authority in the justice system whose heart is in the right place to locate wickedness and criminal activity nationally and internationally. Thank you, Holy Spirit. One of the things I heard the FBI agent as he's talking to other FBI agents is that there are 78 children in this mansion. So let me make sure that I put that in there. The FBI agents also represent God's authority to expose the sudden plans of the elite while dismantling their agenda before their eyes and seconds. The 78 children I hear the FBI agents say are in this mansion. They represent the impact of human trafficking, murder, and ritual sacrifices being exposed internationally and nationally. The season changing from morning to night when the FBI first surveillance the mansion represent how fast seasons will change in a matter of seconds for judgments to unfold. The Dalmatian dogs running uh, from the bunker back into represent the false security of the wicked that they rely upon, but it will not stand in the day of judgment. And this will happen worldwide. The bunker represents once again, the elite where they put their trust. It will fall in the presence of God's judgment. Mansions represent wealth, influence, power, and freedom to do what one desires in seclusion, okay? 
and, and without little accountability to governments, local and federal. The bunker in the mansion represents a strategic plan of hiding from external elements, but once again, the, seeing the, the toxic chemicals from the nuclear bomb, it represents subtly unannounced, it will transpire and the elite will be held accountable for their demise that they have planned for populations, okay, to be harmed. The ditch that they have created, it is the ditch that some of them will end their life on this planet with. The nuclear bomb represents a literal threat coming, which will impact the lives of people in this nation, but it also will impact the lives of the world. And it will happen suddenly. And it is a wake up call once again for us to pray because the Lord doesn't allow me to see what happens to the FBI agents. He just pulls me out. The scripture I have is Psalms 26 to 27. It says, though his hatred is concealed by deception. His wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. 27, he who digs a pit will fall into it, and he who rolls a stone will have it roll back on him. Psalms 10 to the English Standard Version says, in arrogance, the wicked hotly pursue the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes that they have devised. Psalms 91, 1 through 16, it says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And this should be our prayer of protection. It says, for he will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence, that sickness. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day. Okay. So you guys can go ahead and finish reading um, the rest of those scriptures. And just a reminder, According to 1 Timothy 5.18 and Luke 10.7, we co-partner with those who sacrifice to pour so much. So no, please, I will request, don't send any dreams um, to the ministry. I will not interpret them. That's not the season that the Lord uh, has me in. And I reserve that um, for faithful partners who care about what we are doing, what we are trying to build, the time that it takes, um, the investment to even keep the ministry site uh, up and running. So I love you in the Lord Jesus Christ. And as always, take all prophetic words back to the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit, is this accurate? Can it be confirmed in his written word logos? Is he making this bear witness in your own spirit? I'm telling you, something is coming. And when I tell you the judgment, the prophecies that the Lord gave me months ago for the wicked, we are going to see those come to pass because of the things that are being done and all the wealth that this man had. This was old old wealth and God's judgment is going to come. Okay. Bless you in the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Bye-bye.